Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about Aussie and Malaysia. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more nursing education content, please consider subscribing to my channel. So Aussie and Malaysia is the softening and decalcification of bone as a result of a lack of vitamin D. With the lack of vitamin D, the body isn't able to absorb calcium, which can then lead to decreased bone mineralization. This chart illustrates the causes of osteomalacia and we'll go through each one. A lack of UV exposure leads to osteomalacia since sunlight is needed for the synthesis of vitamin D. Kidney disease can also be a factor leading to osteomalacia as any abnormalities with the kidney can lead to the inability to convert vitamin D to its active form. GI malabsorption and chronic diarrhea go hand in hand as any problems with the GI system can cause malabsorption of calcium, which can then lead to osteomalacia. Pregnancy can cause osteomalacia due to the fact that there is an increased need in calcium as the fetus develops during pregnancy. Such a need can put mothers at high risk for osteomalacia. Extensive burns can cause osteomalacia since vitamin D is produced in the skin and any abnormality with regard to the skin can cause osteomalacia. Certain drugs can also cause osteomalacia such as dilantin as these medications can interfere with vitamin D metabolism. So this chart depicts the clinical manifestations related to osteomalacia. In general, these clinical manifestations all tie into the bone demineralization as we discussed earlier. In osteomalacia, you would see bone pain, weight loss as a result of decreased bone density, fractures as a result of demineralization, any deformities in the spine or extremities, or any form of weakness, for example, any difficulties in walking or rising from the chair. When it comes to labs, you would see a decrease in calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D. On the other hand, you would see an increase in serum alkaline phosphatase. In an x-ray, you would see generalized bone demineralization, particularly in the pelvic region. You would also see Lucer's transformation zones, which are ribbons of decalcification in bone, which is a diagnostic of osteomalacia. It's important to note, however, that osteomalacia can exist without any evident x-ray abnormalities. With regard to treating osteomalacia, you would provide calcium and phosphorus supplements, as well as vitamin D, as these levels will be low when you see a patient's labs. Also remind patients to increase their dietary intake of eggs, meat, oily fish, milk, and fortified cereals as these can reverse low levels of calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D. Other educational pieces include teaching patients to increase their exposure to sunlight and implementing weight-bearing exercises to combat weakness that's apparent with this disease. It's also important to ensure that patients undergoing bariatric surgery have normal levels of calcium and vitamin D prior to the procedure because there will be a decreased intestinal absorption of calcium and vitamin D as a result of the procedure itself. And that concludes this video regarding osteomalacia. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And again, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content.